Hey guys and welcome, this video is on the plugin chat control and basically this controls every element of chat inside of Minecraft. So in the config file the first thing you come to is block duplicate messages. So if I typed in hey YouTube, obviously if I type it again it's, it's going to block a duplicate. So hey YouTube, please do not repeat the same or similar message. So a similar message is the same thing but just with a couple of different letters. So same again, blocks it still so that's a really good feature. Next thing you come to is strip unicode, probably won't be used by most people but what it means is if someone types in a unicode it will just turn it into the letter it's associated to. Next thing you come to is message delay, so if I try and type too quickly it says that there's a delay before I can send the next message. So you can set this in the config file for what length you'd like it to be, I find 4 seconds is quite good. Write to file, this means every chat that's inside the game will actually be saved into a file. This is only a text file so it's not very big at all, but it means admins can actually go over it at a later date and check if there's been any swearing and things like that. If someone said, oh so and so was having a go, you can then go and check it. You can obviously disable this if you're not going to use the feature. Next thing you come to is included commands. This means that if you use slash tell or slash message, the plugin will actually override it. So for instance slash message, if I was to swear in that, the plugin will still work inside of that. Then you've got notify player when mentioned. I've got this to true, basically it means if another player mentions me and I'm AFK, it will send me a noise so that I know that they are talking to me. You can also turn off when AFK, which means it will just alert you every time your name is mentioned. You've got commands as well, so it will also work inside them commands as well as just normal chat. You've then got the chat formatter, I've got this set to false, and basically what it does is format your chat. Obviously I don't use this because things like group, ma group manager actually format your chat anyway so it's best just to leave it if you're using something else. You've then got messages whether you want to set the join, quit and kick messages. I've just left it as default because other programs also do that. You could just condense it down and just use this for all of it. You've then got grammar, capitalise and insert dot. This is a feature I really like. So for instance if I type a sentence, hey YouTube you are good, you can see that it capitalises the first letter and puts a full stop at the end so you can also set the length so if I just typed in hey it doesn't put a full stop but it does put a capital letter this is because I've got a minimum length of 2 and a minimum length from the dot of 10 you've then got commands so this will block duplicate commands so if I tried to spam commands it wouldn't let me uh, I haven't got any set up at the moment with my permissions so if I typed in here let just say I haven't got permission so I can't show you that at the moment but you've also got a command delay so if I did spawn and then did it again you can see that there's a one second spawn delay before I can actually use another command so if I tried to use spawn and heal at the same time it only let me use the first one so I like this as well it just means players can't spam commands and slow down the server you can also whitelist some so basically it means if I use spawn twice in a row it won't actually be used in the duplicate commands so it means I can keep doing that as much as I want protect basically just leave that I don't know what that really does but then you've got signs, so this will stop advertising on a sign. So if I was to put a sign down, put an advert for a different server on it, it will block that. It also works inside of chat. So if I was to put mc.hive.eu, so just pretend that's the server name. And then you've got please do not advertise other websites or IP addresses. So it blocks that completely. Then you've got mute. So this will basically mute any broadcast. So disable join, quit messages and things like that whether you don't want them to show. I do, so I'd put that to false. So then you come to anti-caps. So if I tried to type in caps, it'd stop it. So YouTube is the best. And as you can see, please do not use so much caps. And basically it just changes it to lowercase again. Then you've got anti-swear, so obviously, hey YouTube, as you can see, it says, hey YouTube, swear off when I type it. So you can set whatever the message you want to replace it with inside the config. By default it's just stars, but I've changed it. So you can also warn the player, block the message, inform admins. There's different things you can set whether you want that to happen. Then you can also add words. So the words you add, you put spaces between, so it chooses different letters and things like that. And then basically there's just a few messages at the bottom that you can set. I haven't bothered going through these because I think the default messages are alright. But as far as I'm concerned, it's a really great plugin. I just like the feature that when I type, it puts a full stop and stuff after it. I think that formats the chat far better, and it's far easier to read than all the other mismatched letters. 
stopping capital letters, obviously a great feature, and swearing. But I think it's an all-round great plugin for chat control. There'll be a download link to it in the description below. And as always, guys, please remember to rate, subscribe, and comment. Cheers.